we are describing a novel technique of bone loss in recurrent dislocation what we can appreciate here is there is about 20 percent of bone la loss on the anterior aspect of the glenoid neck along with some chondral lesion in the vicinity these kind of patients patients pre uh, presents a therapeutic dilemma to the surgeon and the standard treatment to be offered in these patients is to do a lethargic procedure but here we are performing a distal clavicle bone block procedure to treat this problem here what we are trying to do is we are trying to elevate the labrum and then we will be preparing the glenoid neck the glenoid neck is prepared so that the bone block can be placed on the anterior aspect of the glenoid neck and there will be a good bony union between the bone block as well as the bony block of the glenoid neck. Here what we can appreciate is a very good bleeding surface which is present now distal clavicle bone block is a very good graft which is harvested similar to the mumford's procedure and the size and the dimension of the graft can be uh, changed as per our needs we use a posterior glenoid guide the guide is placed anteriorly and Two drill holes are placed for the fiber tape and circular system in place. So here the guy the glenoid jig is placed and two drill holes are made on the anterior and the posterior or the superior and inferior side of the glenoid neck and then it will be used for passing two chia sutures which will then be replaced by two loop in sutures which will be used to pass the fiber tape and circular system through the holes from the graft here we can appreciate that two grafts two wires have been inserted now we use a cannulated system and once the wire is inserted the second wire is inserted and then there will be a cannulated reamer which is used to pass a chia suture which is a nitinol wire through the drill hole now this chia suture will be exchanged with a loop in suture similar thing is then done for the inferior as well and in the end we will have two suture limbs which are passing through the glenoid neck now we will be loading the fiber tape and circular system and we will be passing it anteriorly and the fiber tape and circular system will then be loaded onto the distal clavicle bone block which will be passed over a specially designed end button to fix the distal clavicle bone block into its place once all the thing is in place we will pull the fiber tape and circular system to reduce the moon block in its position here we can see that we are pulling the bone block to reduce the bone block into its place here a very good trick 
to prevent the entanglement of the fiber tape and circlage is to pull only one side of the fiber tape and circlage system and use a simple fiber wire on the other loop so that it does not entangle into the loop here what we can appreciate is that the first fiber tape and circlage the inferior one is into its place and the superior fiber tape and circlage is also in its place and you can see the wire which is there which is the preventive wire to prevent the entanglement so once we are happy with the inferior fiber tape and circlage we will need to pull the labral retraction sutures a little bit to reduce the bone block into its place here we are pulling the upper part now we will remove the fiber wire so that the bone block can now be placed into its normal position here we can see that bone block is almost at the normal position at this time we can just pull the labral complex little bit and push the bone block so that the bone block is pushed into a normal position and we can, you can use a liberator to actually place the bone block into the correct position the button you can identify on the top and then you can use the liberator to elevate the labrum and then this bone block can be placed into its place you can see that the bone block is now absolutely flush with the glenoid surface and then we can cinch the fiber tape etc system tighten it and fix it over the glenoid neck the labrum which is there will now be repaired with multiple sutures you can use a knotless or a permutation and combination of knotless and knotted sutures you can use a push lock anchor to close the labral complex over the bone so that the bone becomes an extra structure and you can see that now the pre-op defect is very nicely closed with the bone block on the anterior inferior aspect and a very nice bony block is reconstructed.